Princes William and Harry should have split their households sooner to better prepare themselves and their wives, Kate and Meghan Markle, to their future role within the royal family. Kensington Palace announced earlier in March Prince William and Prince Harry will no longer share staff after Buckingham Palace agreed to provide the Duke and Duchess of Sussex with their personal household. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will now have their own communication team reporting directly to the Queen's as the couple prepares to settle in their new house at Frogmore Cottage before the arrival of their first child sometime in April. The split between the Windsor brothers fueled concerns of a bitter dispute between Harry and William but experts have claimed the decision to separate the households makes sense and should have come sooner. ITV royal editor Chris Ship said, as a nation, we're probably guilty of thinking of the brothers themselves as a couple if you like since they lost their mother. Actually, the split in the household, going their separate way, is happening much later than it does for most siblings. They are in their 30s now so it's normal for them to want to live separately, work separately and not live on top of each other. Kensington Palace last year announced Prince Harry and Meghan Markle would move away from central London to live on the Windsor estate from March while Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, would continue living in the capital with their three children, George, 5, Charlotte, 3, and 11-month-old Louis. Commentator Lizzie Robinson told the Royal Rota, A lot of people expected this move to potentially happen before the wedding or after the wedding. The fact that we're nearly a year on, it sort of makes sense to do and now they're having their own children. They are future-proofing. They're getting ready for the next move up. E. News Chief Correspondent Melanie Bromley suggested the reported division plaguing the Sussexes and the Cambridges could soon deepen as William and Kate come to term with their future role within the royal family. William is facing the reality of his future role right now, it's heartbreaking to say but the Queen is 92 and that means there are going to be big changes in the monarchy in the next 10, maybe 15 years. That's a reality everyone is preparing for. But despite the claims of division between the brothers, it was revealed Prince William personally intervened on behalf of his brother and Meghan Markle when the Queen and Prince Charles voiced concerns about providing the Sussexes with their personal household. As sixth in line to the throne, the Duke of Sussex is not officially entitled to his own household or communication team. Royal commentator Omid Scobie detailed how Harry's big brother William actually stepped in and stuck up for his younger brother against the criticisms from the Queen and his father, Prince Charles, and fought for the couple to secure a larger portion of royal budget. Speaking on an episode of the On Air podcast, Mr. Scobie said, it was actually Prince William who had to step in and fight to get Harry a little bit more money to spend on building a team because he understands what this means to Harry and how much he wants to achieve and also how important Harry and Meghan are for the image, the brand and the future of the royal family. As much as William is being set up for this statesman-like role and William and Kate are the nation's favorites, but on the global stage it is very much about the Sussexes, in their Commonwealth roles. They're very much global ambassadors for the royal family. 